everybody, the second inning is upon us. Did I say inning? Yes, I did. The World Series just took place. I had to say something about baseball, right? We are in the second period of the green team taking on the blue team. The Pee Wee House League is the 2 the lead for the green team. Like I said, the blue team may have something to say about that, though. They're playing hard. Lewis Dawson just loses that in his feet. Sends it over. Burke holder. Oh, number five's going to get in. Who is that? Nice one around. He's going to have a chance. He's going to play. Oh, that puck went off of the post. Or this was a two-to-one hockey game. And that was number five from the blue team. Roscoe had a great chance there. Great look. Here comes Joel Pomondin. Already scored a goal today. The outside. Gonna get the outside. Defenders are there. Oh, that shot just missed on the far side by a small margin. Burke Holder passes it back up. Roscoe, number five, picks the puck up. He's got a head of steam. He's got a good defender on him who will draw the penalty. Number five for the green team. Dexter, Tryson Dexter, tried to play that defensive role safely, but found himself bringing the player down. And Roscoe drew the penalty. We have a face-off, and we have a power play. The blue team will go on the power play, and the green team will go on the PK. Penalty kill, baby. That puck will go behind the net. Set out front. Number 18 almost had a look at it. Will Jensen was losing his footing there, or he may have had a puck go home. Sent back in the zone. Rodenroth gets it out, makes it out of the zone. Watch out. That's a player flying up the ice, but it's defending well. Short handed goes number eight. For the green team, nice setup. The blue team needs to get out of harm's way and get back on the attack. That puck will be left in the zone, comes back out to center ice. Kaylin Burkholder, Kaylin stick handles. Trying to get around that defenseman. Libby, we have an offside. Everybody out there, please leave comments on what your experience was like watching this game on YouTube as it came to you in 4K off your smart televisions or whatever you're using to receive a 4K resolution. I want to know how it looks. This is brand new to me. We're taking a chance. I won't lie. This could come out really bad. The lighting might be horrible, but we're going for it. This is a learning experience. Looking to get a penalty isn't there is number 10 for the green team. Robert Counselor was looking to have the linesman send another player on the opposition off the ice, but it didn't work out. A play! A shot! Did that puck go home? Number six shot! And Morgan Barrett! Wow! That was like pulling a rabbit on the hat! How did she stop that puck? That looked like that was definitely going home and she stayed calm in the storm and made the save I do want everybody to know we do not have a tripod yet either the tripod is coming if if it's shaky we apologize it will get better I want to explain how my format works anybody that's watching this game I jump around and do any level of hockey I can. When I have time, I can get away from the family and I'm not, I don't have something going on with my family at home. And uh, tonight I just had some free time and we found this game, but if you're not a teammate of this team, you still could experience me calling your game in the future. It could be squirts, it could be bantams, I mean, it could be mites, it could be anything. I'm not sure it'll be mites though, because it's not full ice. 
However, I have called mites years ago. It can be college, it can be junior hockey, anything I can find. Of course, the ultimate dream is to one day call pro hockey. We'll just have to keep working. Counselor. Soper almost had the puck. Run around for the shot. Did not get through another shot. Three love. The green team's there. What change? Alex Craven is like a cat in the middle of a freeway trying not to get hit by a car. And he stopped everything. Great job, Mr. Craven between the pipes. Going down to pat him on the back for those saves is Caleb Burkholder and company. Face off, Joel Pomondin. Burkholder, Pomondin trying to get the puck back, he will. Ooh, Burkholder kept it off though. Here comes Navy Blue up the left side. Defended by Rodenroth. Rodenroth to get to the center ice, but we have an offside. <laughs> Don't come on in, steps in. A pair of sevens are going face to face. For the blue team, number seven is. Anderson Marsh is facing off versus Joe Pomondin. Another player that used to play on my son's team, Anderson Marsh. How have you been? Like that kid. Good kid. Number eight. Humphrey trying to get that puck out of the zone. Green will keep it in. Another shot. Watch out. Craven's going to have to be busy again. Pushes that away. Here comes the blue team. Push that puck up. Number five is flying. Dexter reached in. No call. Pomondin. Ten minutes left in the second period. Here comes Joe Pomondin. Two to nothing for the green team. Joe Pomondin's looking to add to that. Down the corner goes Harper, number nine. Luke Harper battling over there with Kaylin Burkholder, number two. Roadrock sets it up. What a shot! What a setup! Puts the puck in front of the net. And the green team, number two, Luke Hoffman, just scored a goal to make it three to nothing. Way to go, green team. The blue team needs to. Gather their wits about them and come back with a goal of their own. Roan Roth facing Wolf in the face off. Well, that was Thomas, I'm sorry. 3 0, and you know the Navy Blue team is going to bring it, though. There's a shot by Dawson. Oh, that puck was shot. With velocity. Hand in the air. Who's going to the penalty box? Number six for the green team. John Liddy for the green team has caused an infraction, and the team that needs to go bad is on the power play. Again. Can the blue team capitalize though? Passed out. Lewis Dawson puts it down toward the net. The green team's flying up on the ice on a shorthanded chance. Here comes Sofer. Sofer gets time in space. He will launch it. Stops. Puts the puck down in the corner. Blue team's trying to get going north and south again. Here they come. Nice move there. He's in the feet. Ronan Roth will just put it back down low in the other end and there will be a discipline line change by the green team off the feet of counselor number 10 
Roden Roth will skate hard to get this puck. One minute and 15 seconds left in the power play and the blue team cannot even get set up. Green team's pressure is pretty high. Kept in the zone though. Shot! Roden Roth blocked that. Another chance to shot! Nice save! That was Morgan Barrett once again. Kevin Air number two on his backhand. Kalen Burkholder. 13. Shot. And Morgan Barrett grabs the puck up with the glove and starts over. Back in the face off the offensive zone for the dark blue team. 44 seconds left in this power play. They need to get a shot on goal. Set over. Burkholder's gonna get this puck. Fanned on that shot down the corner. But defended well. Burkholder gets it back in the zone. Comes back out though. Come on in. Number eight's gonna chase for the blue team. Humphrey. That puck did not go out of play. It actually hit the glass. That'll be put back down. Less than 15 seconds left in this man advantage and not enough offensive attack to make a difference in that part. Of the There's a setup. Oh, number six was just right in front of the net. Casey Jackson and the slapper was there, but the pads were also there for Morgan Barrett. Here comes number seven. Seven shot. Another shot. Right now, I gotta say, Morgan Barrett is playing an amazing hockey game. What a play that was! With a deflection. Right when I was talking about the goaltender and the great job she's been doing. Number seven for Dark Blue. That would be a player by the name of. Anderson March sent that deflection home. That's exactly where he wanted to put the puck. It is a three to one lead for the green team and the blue team is feeling some confidence. 6.50 left in the second period. Razor Razor Sharp is eating this one up. I want to say thank you to my videographer Christian Goss, the soon-to-be 14-year-old, who's doing an amazing job on the camera with no tripod. We are using a one-inch sensor, so it's very hard to keep everything in focus because there's such a professional-level camera. Another setup! Watch out there! Here comes Rotoroff to the outside. Rotoroff is challenged well by Lewis Dawson. Rotoroff just puts it down around the corner. Into the corner. This puck will go down the sideboards. We have a stoppage of action. Who's in trouble? Is somebody going to the penalty box? Yes. Number 13 for the Navy Blue Team. A player by the name of, I believe it's Andrew Thomas. If I got his name wrong, I'm sorry. I don't have any first names. And I'm trying to remember the names of these kids that I've seen all around the hockey league. I'll call him A. Thomas if I got it wrong. That was a chance there by the green team. Wow, look at the way Counselor grabbed that puck. That was like a toe drag pickup. That was cool. Counselor's in front. He's got a shot. Rebound. Oh, it was cleared out of harm's way by number eight for the blue team. Johnny on the spot was number eight, Humphrey. That would have been another goal, but Humphrey was there just in the nick of time. Burkholder. Boy, am I excited tonight to call this game. Burkholder shoots from a mile away. Just pushed it aside by Mrs. Barrett. Or Miss Barrett, I'm sorry, she's not married. That was pretty funny. All right, Counselor to the outside, but a great defensive play by Burkholder. That puck is blasted down the other corner by 
Jackson Sulfur. And we're going to move on because of an icing. We have 505 left in the second period. There is one minute and one second left on the power play for the team in green. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Dodgers who became world champions just a few nights ago in the game of baseball. There's a, oh, there's a good chance. Number 11 got to the backhand, couldn't make it. Good play by the defenseman on the green team. Of course, that was Caden Rodenroth. He's always making great defensive plays. One of the most important things about hockey, all you people out there, you fans, is to be a two-way player. You can score goals, but you've got to defend as well. That's how you show that you've done your homework. Rodenroth, Lewis Dawson, number 12. Nice move around the D. Lewis Dawson tries to go to the inside. Lewis Dawson makes the move. Gets down near the net. Not enough blue players, though. That passes up. Hartford's going to gather this puck up, try to get it into the zone. Nice pass up, but Fomandin couldn't reach it. Fomandin goes to the corner. Fomandin, nice roll around there. Sends out front, but a better defensive player by number nine on the blue team. Ari Starr, number nine. Harper going to shoot from way out through some bodies. Burkholder was, or number two, was looking to get his second goal of the game there. And here comes Pomondin. Moves the puck off the stick there. Harper. Harper sends up this puck. Will go slowly down the zone, but it will be an offside. We'll go to another faceoff. We'll go back down the other end as they get set up in the neutral zone. Number 13 for the blue team will face off. Thomas. Here comes Libby though. Well, good little stalemate there by Libby and number 8 from the blue team. Humphrey battled well versus Libby. Burkholder will put that all the way down the corner. Chasing that puck will be number 18 for Davey. Will Jensen backhands it out. Shot all the way down through the bodies. Doesn't make it home. Burkholder's got a shot. Oh, what a save. Morgan Barrett just found that one in time as well. Stoppage of play. We have a pause of action. What was that? Is somebody going off the ice? Number 16 from the Navy Blue Team. Preston Wickey is making his way to the penalty box. I'm not sure what he did. I didn't catch it. But that's why we have the game recorded on beautiful 4K resolution. You'll be able to catch what happened there. Counselor on the face off versus the Navy Blue player. Thomas. Thomas and Counselor waiting. Take a look at Coach Dawson over there talking to the man in black and white stripes. Scott Dawson is, he's got some questions in mind. He's getting his answers and we're back to action. That puck will go up the sideboards. Chased by number eight for the blue team. Humphrey tried to make a move. He was tripped well, but no call coming. That puck is sent out of danger, danger zone. Wow, that was a quick reaction as Counselor almost found a way to put that puck home. Skating down, but this will be an icing. 
with 241 left in the second period. 131 left on the man advantage. The green team is looking to add more to this, add this lead. The blue team is looking to come back. We've got a face off. Hamadin wins that face off, keeps it in his zone for his team. Roden Roth around the blue line, stays in his zone, sends it down deep. The green team is going to set up. That puck will come around around the corner. Blue team's going to gather it up, just try to get out of the zone. But well, that's gobbled up by Hamadin. Hamadin gets it over to Hoffman. Hoffman tried to put the puck out in front of that. That did not work out. Kalen Burkholder is going to skate out. He's got three defenders in front of him. He'll just put the puck down in the corner behind the net, and a little dump and chase action will happen. Lewis Dawson puts the puck toward the net. Couldn't get it on net. Nice move there. Soper. Jackson Soper couldn't get in. Boy, he was, he was really interfering with his hands there. Watch out. This is a breakaway for number seven for the blue team. He's going to come outside a shot. That puck was defended well by the net miner once again. As Barrett found the handle again, and it's still 3-1. to one. That was number seven that was barreling down on her. Anderson March. We will go to another draw. Give me a chance, a shot! Whoa, that puck was stopped by the handle of the stick! I cannot believe that save! Watch that one in 4K! I believe that puck hit the handle of the stick! Wow! They got another chance! A shot! Off the pad! Less than one minute left in a second! Set up! Oh, that puck! Oh, wow, that puck was at home! That puck did not go home. Wow, one close chance with Burkholder with a wrister. Rebound is there, but good defense by number five from the green team. The pressure's on, the blue team's putting it on him. And Morgan Bear will steady the ship. Calm the storm. Relax, everybody. I am the captain of this ship, she says. And we'll move on to... Probably the last face-off in the period, number two. Face-off. There comes the green team. Counselor couldn't make it through the D, though. Back down the zone. Sofer will chase. Jackson Sofer. Rims that puck around the sideboards. Here comes Counselor. Counselor is defended well by Burkholder. 20 seconds left in the second. Can anybody mount an attack? That puck's put forward to number six on the blue team. Number six loses that puck. That was Casey Jackson. And we'll have a stoppage of play with only 2.2 left in the second. Really nothing can happen here. As we count the seconds down, this has been an outstanding hockey game so far, three to one. That will be the end of the second period. This is the Razor Sharp Hockey Network. Until the third period, saying hockey out.